I definitely want to keep Rotary Revivals my life. I want to spend time with my grandkids. I want to spend a lot of time with my grandkids. And uh, before I had the procedures done, I mean, it was just sitting around talking with them, whatever. They'd climb on me, but I couldn't actually play with them because the time I started playing with them, I'd be all out of breath. My legs start cramping up on me. Chase them or playing in the playground was totally out of the question. Uh, my wife's a wonderful person. She's very energetic. She likes to do things, likes to go out and do things. And I was limited to what I could do even outside the house. So after I had the procedures done, that's no problem anymore. Um, if she wants to go out shopping, I can walk through the mall now. I couldn't do that before. So what is PAD? PAD stands for Peripheral Arterial Disease, and it affects about 1 in 20 Americans over the age of 50. PAD occurs when arteries in the legs become clogged with fatty deposits, reducing blood flow to the legs. It affects both men and women, most often over 50 years of age. PAD is more common in those who smoke or used to smoke, have diabetes, high blood pressure, or abnormal cholesterol, are African American, or who have a personal history of heart disease or stroke. PAD may cause leg muscle pain when walking and lead to disability and even amputation of a toe, foot, or leg. PAD has a big impact on quality of life. It worried me to a point that I was only 51 years old and at this point I couldn't afford to be without a job and if the cramping got so bad I couldn't do a work performance then I would lose my job and it wouldn't be any income, and you sure can't live like that. The blocked arteries found in people with PAD are an indication that they are likely to have narrowed arteries to the heart and the brain. In fact, PAD is a powerful warning sign. It means that you are at high risk for having a heart attack or stroke. The doctor says I might have had a mild heart attack at one point, and I might have been in my sleep, so I didn't even know I was having it. The good news is that PAD can be treated, and heart attacks and stroke can be prevented by making lifestyle changes, taking medicines, and having special procedures if necessary. First, it's important that you get a prompt diagnosis. The simplest test is the Ankle Brachial Index, or ABI. It compares the blood pressure readings in your ankles with the blood pressure in your arms to determine if you have PAD. Other tests may be performed to pinpoint where your arteries are blocked. All people with PAD require comprehensive treatment to lower their risk for heart attack and stroke, including getting help to quit smoking if necessary, lowering high blood pressure, lowering LDL or bad cholesterol, taking antiplatelet medications such as aspirin or clopidogrel to reduce heart attack and stroke. If you have diabetes, managing blood glucose and practicing proper foot care. If you have leg muscle pain when walking, a symptom known as claudication, you should exercise regularly. Leg muscles become weak when not used and only exercise can keep those muscles strong. Exercise is likely to be most effective if you can do it in a special PAD rehabilitation program. Now, In this setting you can work closely with an experienced health professional who will design an individualized treadmill or track walking program for you. Over time, a structured walking program can be very effective to reduce the pain and cramping that limits your walking. There are also medications to improve how far and how long you can walk. If PAD is severe, immediate medical attention is necessary to restore blood flow to the legs. Signs of severely blocked leg arteries known to doctors as critical limb ischemia or CLI include skin wounds on the feet or toes that are very slow to heal or do not heal at all, foot or toe pain at rest that often disturbs sleep, and gangrene, which is the death of the skin and underlying tissue that may appear dark or black and may or may not be painful. Again, prompt medical attention is essential with critical limb ischemia. When leg arteries are so clogged or narrowed that they're not getting enough oxygen to supply the muscles in your legs, and if medications or exercise are not relieving leg symptoms, you may need additional care to open blocked arteries. Endovascular procedures and bypass surgery can be used to improve blood flow. These procedures often improve symptoms and may also help to avoid losing a foot or leg due to severe PAD. 
endovascular means within the blood vessel, and these procedures are generally easier and safer than standard surgical operations. In this type of procedure, a long, thin plastic tube called a catheter is placed inside the artery through a small puncture in the groin. Using x-ray pictures as a guide, the doctor threads the catheter inside the artery to reach the narrowed or blocked area. Your doctor may recommend placing a stent in the artery. A stent is a small, flexible wire mesh tube that's placed inside an artery to keep the blood vessel open. After an endovascular procedure, many patients are able to return home the same day and can resume an active, independent life. When there is a long and very narrowed blockage in a leg artery, the best treatment may be bypass surgery. In bypass surgery, a new blood vessel is attached to allow blood to go around the blocked artery. After bypass surgery, you will receive special instructions for medical care and will be able to return home in a few days when you can walk on your own. Whether you have an artery opened by an endovascular procedure or bypass surgery, you will require regular medical follow-up as a blockage can reoccur. With the uh, angioplasty and stents and everything, just wonderful now. I don't have any problems walking, I don't have to stop all the time. And it doesn't interfere with my job anymore, which it did before. Within two weeks after I had the procedure done, I had to go with a contractor to look at, con uh, at concrete work that had to be done around the property. I walked the whole 45 acres without even stopping. Early diagnosis and proper treatment of PAD can help you stay in circulation and live a fuller, longer life.